we visited the medieval chapel here in Wakefield. Calling the edge world of everything. We're here in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, England. Now, we're outside the A638 and it's a main artery into Wakefield. It's a main A road that goes into Wakefield. Now, we're at a place that's known as Chantry Bridge and it's on the River Calder. This is the River Calder behind me. And obviously this is Chantry Bridge here. You can see all cars going over the Chantry Bridge. And obviously it's a main artery. So when you're coming into Wakefield, obviously that's the new bridge and this is the old bridge. Now we're not bothered about new bridge, right? We're more bothered about this old bridge over here. And if you'll notice, there's a medieval chapel in the middle of it. And that chapel there behind me, it's a grade one listed building. So it's a medieval chapel here in Wakefield. Now, there's not many chapels like it in UK because it's in middle of bridge, in river. You know what I mean? It's just like, whoa, you know what I mean? Where else do you actually see a, a working, functional chapel? In the middle of a bridge. Now, there used to be four of these chapels. Every road that went out of Wakefield, right, there'd be one of these chapels. But this is the only one that actually exists to this day. There is actually four other places in the UK where you will find Chantry chapels like this one. And they are Bradford-upon-Avon, Rotherham, St Ives and Cambridge. You just drive into Wakefield and you just think, Oh, look at that chapel there in Midland Road, yeah, in Midland Bridge. And it's just there. So what we're going to do now, I'm calling the Ed's world of everything, we're going to have a look at the Chantry Chapel here at Chantry Bridge in Wakefield. Now this bridge is actually 700 year old and this bridge was built over the River Calder here in Wakefield to replace the old wooden bridge that existed before it. I mean, you can obviously see how old this bridge is. I mean, look at them arches, look at the medievalness that's about them arches. And look, I mean, look at them buttresses, I mean, it's 700 year old for Christ's sake and it's still here doing its job. So we're just here at the St Mary the Virgin's Chapel here in Wakefield. And we're at the, this is the west face of the chapel. Now, what is about the west face of this? This actual decorate decor you can see on front of this chapel here has actually been meddled with over the years and it's been replaced several times. You know what I mean? The light, the refaced all front of chapel for various reasons. The rest of the building is original. 1342, the actual original footings for this chapel were actually put here in 1342. And obviously, the front of the actual chapel itself is has been re, has been revamped and renewed. Should I say renewed? Like I said. And you can see Chantry Chapel, St Mary, on the bridge, Holy Communion is celebrated on the first Sunday of the month. Evening worship at 4.30pm. So that means there's still services here at this chapel in Middle of Bridge in Wakefield. You know, and it still actually happens and you would hardly believe it, would you? That this, this, this little church, I mean, it's not even big. I mean, it's, it's like a postage stamp or something. This little postage stamp that's in Middle of Wakefield, right? On the middle of this bridge, it's like an island and it's just situated here in Wakefield. I wonder if it's open. No, it's not open. It'd be good if it would though, wouldn't it? Hey, so let's have a look at this little church. So this is the River Calder in uh, February 2015. Here we are, I'm calling the Ed's world of everything on another bridge. And we're just looking through the window. Obviously, the chapel's not open, so we can't go in and have a look, which is a shame. And if you can look at the actual decor, look at them faces, how much details in them faces. You know, they're just they got gargoyles or something. I wonder who we are. I wonder, if, I wonder, I wonder who them, them people actually are. And uh, obviously, if you look through windows, this little window at the side with this first window, you can actually see that there's actually seating still inside church, you know, ready for services and stuff, ready for like ceremonies to take place and stuff. So it's actually still a functioning, fully functioning chapel. Wakefield Cathedral running nowadays. You know, we can see Wakefield Cathedral over there. See Wakefield Cathedral towering over the city landscape. Obviously they're in charge at Little Chapel that exists here at Little Chantry Bridge. The St Mary the Virgin's Chantry Chapel 
in Wakefield. It actually got two floors. It's not just a church on top. First floor, obviously, church and that, you know, altar and all that that goes with a normal Burnett Mill church. It's actually got a crypt underneath and you can actually see behind me, if you look behind me, you can see Chantry Bridge there with its medieval arches, a river calder thundering underneath it, right? But there's actually a crypt underneath the actual chapel itself. Another thing I'm going to put, throw into this point is look how clean and how healthy River Calder looks today. You know, I can remember me when I was a young lad, you know, this river was dirty. You know, it's, it's come thundering down Pennine Hills. It's gone through Halifax. It's gone through Brig House, textile places. And obviously all waste got chucked in the river. And they just, they just didn't care, they just used to chuck all waste in the river. So by the time the River Calder arrived in, in Wakefield, you know, it used to be a really, 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 really dirty, dirty river. And look at it today, the river, the river is actually recovering fine. I mean, look at them ducks just swimming about on top of water. You know, you know, the river is the river's good, the river's healthy. I'm amazed by it, you know, I'm quite amazed. And the reason why it's so special, the reason why we've come to this particular one, we could have gone to any other four that exist in country, but the one in Wakefield is the oldest of its kind in England. All in the edge, world of everything. 